News. Info sur NTV et CNN Télévision. Special Edition. After seven decades of rain, Queen Elizabeth II dies at 96. CNN Television et NTV at the core of this event. L'information multiplex sur CNN et NTV. Queen Elizabeth II of England has passed away this 30 September 8th in 2022, surrounded by members of her family at her Scottish residence in Balmoral. She was then 96 years old. It was on the internet that the royal family warmed the whole world. Coming from Buckingham Palace, the sad news falls at 6.30 p.m. local time. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. According to the news, this day had already started in doubt. The palace announced the day before that the Queen was postponing an online meeting, her doctor's advisor, to rest. This Thursday, September 8th, around noon, in Parliament, the new Prime Minister Liz Truss appointed two days earlier by the Queen herself had just announced a plan to help households to offset rising energy costs when his Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs handed her a note. She left the House of Commons without a word, followed shortly after by the leader of the opposition, opening the door to a thousand speculations. On Twitter, Liz Truss published shortly after that the whole country is concerned about the state of health of Queen Elizabeth II. At the bedside of the Queen, the royal family rushes, her children Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward, her grandchildren including William and Harry. And then comes the confirmation in the early evening the long reign of Elizabeth II has come to an end. The British flag is immediately lowered to half mass at Buckingham Palace, in front of which the crowd is silent and some burst into tears. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, tributes poured in from heads of state and government. The White House publishes the declaration of President Joe Biden, for whom Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II was more than a sovereign, she defined an era. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says she was our queen for almost half of Canada's existence and had a clear and deep affection for all Canadians. For French President Emmanuel Macron, Isabelle II was a friend of France, queen of ours, having forever marked her country and our century. African heads of states are also affected by the disappearance of the Queen of England. For His Excellency Paul B. of Cameroon, the death of Her Majesty Elizabeth II is painfully felt and affects the Commonwealth of Nations because of her unique stature and her emblematic role throughout history. The Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara, for his part, salutes the memory of an exceptional stateswoman with great human qualities. For His Excellency Ali Bongo Ondimba of Gabon, Queen Elizabeth II was a great friend of Africa who loved her in return. With the death of Queen Elizabeth II, an uncertain era begins for the British crown to which she has devoted her life. Her death immediately propels Charles, her eldest son, and who now bears the name of Charles III. His reign will have been the longest of the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom loses a queen, a sovereign with a legendary reign, an emblematic figure in the world and its history. Restez des nôtres et bonne suite des programmes sur CNN et NTV.